Hi everyone, welcome to our course on ML Kit in HMS ecosystem. The ML SDK helps you to build machine learning capabilities in your app. You can integrate this SDK into your app easily. First, let's shed some light on what ML Kit is. This section consists of two parts: introduction to ML Kit and its advantages. So, what is ML Kit and what capabilities does it provide? ML Kit provides you with the vision and language services based on machine learning technologies to implement AI capabilities, helping you achieve business success. Vision services include face detection, test recognition, image classification, object detection and tracking, and landmark recognition. Language services include ASR, TTS, language recognition, and translation. These language services are not available now. They will hit the market in the second quarter of 2020. Currently, six capabilities are provided by ML Kit. Face detection detects the contours and key points of a person's face and facial expressions, whether the person's eyes are open, and whether the person is wearing a hat. Text recognition recognizes text information in images, including sparse text such as ID cards and business cards, and dense text such as manuals and books. Imaging classification recognizes various labels in images, such as plants, people, and buildings. Object detection and tracking is able to detect objects in images and track moving objects. Landmark recognition recognizes landmarks in images and gives geographical coordinates of the landmarks. The vision framework is a camera operation component provided by ML Kit. It provides functions such as camera capture, preview, out of focus, and zooming in and out of images. You can directly use this capability to reduce the development of camera control code during integration. The following describes the first of five capabilities in detail. First, face detection. Face detection can detect up to 845 face counter points and 12 facial key points. It can also recognize seven facial expressions, including happiness, surprise, and anger, as well as the person's gender, age, and clothing items. After integrating this capability, you can implement your own face processing logic, such as wearing hats, covering mustaches, and adding facial dressing. Typical application scenarios include smile photographing, smile challenge, and other facial makeup effects. The left figure shows the development process. Images or video streams are input into the ML SDK for face detection. You can then process the detected face information to achieve the desired effect. Then, text recognition can detect the text boundaries. And recognize content and languages. It also supports on-cloud document recognition. The on-device text recognition supports simplified Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Latin-based languages. On-cloud text recognition supports 19 languages, including the preceding ones, and it can recognize text in images that are tilted up to 30 degree and bent 45 degrees. After integrating this capability, you can implement text recognition in various scenarios. Typical applications include card recognition, keyword search from images, and electronic copy scanned from paper text. The development process is similar to that of face detection. After images or video streams are input into the ML SDK, and text information is detected. You can then choose how to process the text information. Third, imaging classification. On-device imaging classification can recognize more than 400 types of objects, and on-cloud imaging classification 
can recognize more than 12,000 types of objects. You can integrate this capability to classify images, which you can then use to recommend products or services to users, such as a book recommendation service. The left figure shows the development process. Images or video streams are input into the ML SDK for detection. You are then free to process this information however you see fit. The fourth is object detection and tracking. The capability can detect seven types of objects, such as furniture, plants, food, places, and people. A maximum of eight objects can be detected in a frame. You can integrate this capability to extract objects from images. For example, you can develop shopping apps in which users can search for a product by taking a photo of it. The left figure shows the development process. Images or video streams are input to the ML SDK for object detection. You can then perform post-processing on the result. The last is landmark recognition, which can recognize more than 5,000 landmarks worldwide using OnCloud APIs. This capability is useful for map and travel apps. The left figure shows the development process. After images are input into the ML SDK and the landmark information is detected, you can perform post-processing on the result. Now you have gained basic knowledge about the five capabilities provided by MLKit. What are their edges? First, wide coverage. MLKit sports more than 50% of mobile phones with the ARM architecture, covering almost all Android models in the market. Second, developers can use on-device capabilities provided by MLKit for free including face detection, text recognition, object detection and tracking, and image classification. Third, all capabilities are provided for global developers. Fourth, third-party apps can be migrated conveniently and quickly. In the previous section, we have learned what MLKit is. In this section, we will discover how to access MLKit. This section consists of three parts, demo preview, development preparation, and ML kit integration. The first part is demo preview. The figure shows the demo page. After the demo is opened, the page for selecting each function is displayed, as shown in the left figure. The demo provides seven functions, dynamic phase detection, static phase detection, object detection and tracking, text recognition, image classification, document recognition, and landmark recognition. Select the face detection. A detection UI appears as shown in the middle finger. You can see how MLKit tracks 12 detected facial key points of the person's face, including eyes, nose tip, and ears and provides facial analysis information, such as the probability that the subject has their eyes open, it wearing a hat, and their age. When you select the text recognition, you can see how the feature extracts all the text that appears in the image and displays it below the image. As you can see, the text information recognized from the image is generated. The demo also provides dynamic video detection and static image detection modes. Dynamic video detection includes face detection and object detection and tracking. Static image detection includes static image-based face detection, image classification, text recognition, landmark recognition, and document recognition. Document recognition is a type of text recognition and can provide a more accurate detection result for a large segment of text. Object detection and face detection 
including static image-based face detection and dynamic face detection, are supported only on devices. Document recognition and landmark recognition are supported only on the cloud. Text recognition and image classification can be performed on devices as well on the cloud. Next, let's open the project and view the code of the demo. In the manifest file, eight activities are defined. The main activity is the main entry of the demo. In this activity, the function selection page is defined. You can click buttons on the page to go to other activities with specific functions. Each one of the remaining seven activities represents a capability provided by MLKit, including document recognition, real-time object detection and tracking, landmark recognition, static face detection, image classification, text recognition, and real-time face detection. In the code directory, each path represents a capability. In each path, an activity corresponding to a function module is placed as the capability entry. For static image detection modules, such as image classification, document recognition, static face detection, landmark recognition, and text recognition, the activity contains complete processing logic, such as resource initialization, result detection, result processing, and result display. No additional class is required. For modules that provide dynamic video detection, including face detection, and object detection, and tracking, input video streams need to be read from the camera and the logic is complex. Therefore, two auxiliary classes, namely a detection result processing class and detection result drawing class, are added to the activity to process and display the detection result. The camera preview related code used by the two modules is stored in the camera directory. The two real detection modules share the same camera preview control code, including the Preview UI Definition class and the Camera Engine Preview class. Next, I will explain how the demo was created. The first step is development preparation. The development preparation consists of six steps. First, you need to register the app gallery. Connect the file in Huawei Developer to that your app can be released in Huawei App Gallery. For details on how to do this, please refer to the guide in Huawei Developer through the provided websites. Note that if you need to call the cloud service APIs provided by MLKit, that is, to use image classification, text recognition, document recognition, and landmark recognition functions on the cloud, you must enable MLKit in the app directory, as shown in the figure. Second, after the application is complete, create a project and configure the Maven repository, address of the SDK in the build gradle file of the project, as shown in the figure. Note that the address needs to be configured in the two positions in the file. After you have finished configuring the code repository, add this configuration item to dependencies. Now, Add the SDK dependency package to the app level build gradle file and introduce the ML SDK. In order for ML kit to be compatible with a range of different devices, we have introduced the full SDK algorithm capability package. It contains the algorithm of each module. The full SDK package of test recognition is divided into three parts by language one for Latin-based languages, one for Japanese and Korean, and one for Chinese. You can introduce one or more of them as required. The advantage of introducing the dependence in full SDK mode is that the generated APK can run on any phone with Android 4.4 or later. The disadvantage 
is that the generated APK is of a larger size. If your APK is only released in Huawei App Gallery, you can use Olin SDK. Olin SDK is required if you need nothing other than one or more of the on-cloud capabilities provided by MLKit, such as image classification, text recognition, document recognition, and landmark recognition. No additional capability package is required so that the size of generated APK is small. However, if you need to use on-device capabilities such as face detection, object detection, and tracking, text recognition, and image classification, the generate APK can run only on Huawei phones whose EMUI version is later than 5.0. This is because when the capability package is not used, the algorithm model used by the SDK is stored in Huawei HMS core, but Huawei HMS core is not pre-installed on non-Huawei phones. During integration, you can select either SDK or full SDK as required. After the SDK dependency is configured, add the configuration to the end of the file. Now, you can synchronize the project. After the synchronization, you can start using APIs provided by MLKit. Step 3. Place the App Gallery Connect file obtained in Step 1 to the specified directory of the project to replace the existing sample App Gallery Connect file. If you need to use the on-cloud capabilities, such as image classification, text recognition, document recognition, and landmark recognition, this step is mandatory. Step 4. Find the manifest file of the project and complete the configuration in the file so that the algorithm model can be automatically downloaded from Huawei App Gallery during app installation. If you ignore the configuration, a dialog box is displayed when users launch the app for the first time, prompting users to download the algorithm model. Here, you can add modules as required. In the code, face indicates face detection, label indicates image classification, OCR indicates tax recognition, and object indicates object detection and tracking. If you only intend on using the preceding four cloud capabilities, skip this step. Step 5. Configure obfuscation scripts in the ProGuard Rules profile of the project. Add the obfuscation configuration for excluding the HMS SDK to prevent SDK API. Call errors caused by code obfuscation. Step 6. Request the permissions. In this demo, you need to use the camera and the internet permissions. Therefore, you need to declare the two permissions in the manifest file. Android defines the camera permission as a dangerous permission. You need to explicitly apply for the camera permission in the code. You can use the API provided by Android to apply for the camera permission. In this way, the development preparation is complete. Now, let's move on to the third part, which is to integrate MLKit. First, let's look at the integration of the face detection module. Encapsulate a method in the onCreate lifecycle of the activity to create a face analyzer. In this method, you can customize configurations to create a face analyzer instance. You can also create a face analyzer directly using the default configurations. After the face analyzer is created, create a face data processor instance to obtain face detection results and perform post-processing. As you can see, the processor inherits the ML Transactor API of the ML SDK. The transact result method is implemented in the processor to process the detection result. You can add the processing logic of the phase detection result to the method. In this demo, the ML phase graphic method is called to draw the phase detection result. You can click the method to view the detailed drawing logic. 
This processor is part of the phase analyzer. The set transactor method is used to import the processor to the newly created phase analyzer to bind the analyzer to the processor. After the phase analyzer is created, create a camera engine instance. During the creation, you can set the front and the rear cameras, preview size, frame rate, and whether to support auto zoom. After the camera engine is created, how do I start it, you may ask. You can encapsulate one method to the onResume function in the activity to start the camera. In this method, a camera preview instance is defined. You can call the start method of the instance to pass the defined camera engine and camera viewfinder screen. Through call chain tracking, you can find that the wrong method of the camera engine is called to start the camera. The frame processing of the camera is implemented in SDK. You only need to implement the processing logic of the phase detection result. After detection ends, that is, when the page closes, the camera instance and the phase analyzer instance will also close to free up occupied resources. Note that the sample code also provides the phase detection capability on images. For more details, please refer to the Steel Phase Analyzer Activity class. After coding is complete, recompile the object. The generated APK running result is shown in the figure on the right. The integration of the object detection and tracking module is similar to that of the phase detection module. The integration of the two modules differs in processing logic of detection result. The object detection result is simpler than that of phase detection. Therefore, the drawn content is simple and only the scanning box of the object needs to be drawn. You only need to set the category name, tracking ID, and confidence. For other implementation, you can refer to the phase detection code. After coding is complete, recompile the project. The generated APK running result is shown in the figure on the right. Then you can work out the integration of text recognition. The figure shows the running result of text recognition. You can click Detect at the button of the page to implement text detection on the image on the top of the page and display the result in the middle of the page. I will show you the development procedure. After preparations are complete, add a callback function for the Detect button in the OnCreate lifecycle of the activity. You can define a method in a callback function to implement the detection logic. First, use the customized configuration to create a text analyzer. Then, use the bitmap to create ML frame data that can be accepted by an analyzer. Input the data to the text recognition synchronous detection API provided by the ML SDK and return the task that encapsulates the detection result. Finally, process the detection result, success or failure. If the detection is successful, you can define detection result processor to display the detection result. When the page exits, the close method is called to release resources. We will talk about the method of calling the text detection API on the device. In this file, the code of text recognition on the cloud, that is, remote analyzer, is also implemented. The detection logic is the same as that of text recognition on the device. The differences are as follows. First, the called APIs are different. Second, the return result encapsulation on the cloud is different from that on the device, and therefore, the processing logic of the detection results is different. For details, please refer to the code. The sample code also contains the code related to document recognition. The implementation logic is similar to that of text recognition on the cloud. 
you can refer to the image document class. The integration of face detection from images is similar to that of text recognition. The integration includes four steps. Complete the preparations, create a face analyzer, implement the detection result processor, and stop detection and release resources. During detection result processing, the detected facial feature information and the three-dimensional coordinates of the face are generated in the middle. For other parts, you can refer to the text recognition code. The final effect is shown in the figure on the right. You can integrate the image classification module in the same way as the text recognition module. The integration includes four steps. Complete the preparations, create an image classification analyzer, implement the detection result processor, and stop detection and release resources. You can refer to the code implementation for text recognition. The final effect is shown in the figure on the right. Landmark recognition is supported only on the cloud. The integration process is similar to that of text recognition. Four steps are needed. Complete preparations. Create a landmark analyzer. Create a detection result processor. And stop detection and release resources. You can refer to the code implementation for text recognition. The final effect is shown in the figure on the right. Congratulations. You have learned all the features of the ML SDK provided by ML Kit and mastered the integration methods for all capability modules. You can use the capabilities provided by ML Kit to develop various mobile apps in a simple, convenient, and efficient manner based on your app's service scenarios. They will help you achieve business success. Thank you for watching.